Hi everyone, welcome to our Laravel real time chat application series episode 7. In this tutorial, we are going to learn uh, how to create component from our design using react.js. So, let's start. Previous tutorial, we have made the design. So, today we will fix some design issue and then we will start to make it a react component. So, first we will uh, remove this background from here and also um, if we little a bit smaller it breaks the search option breaks will give a give it a flex design so let's do this we'll remove this uh, flex bg slate 500 it's not necessary then uh, whenever in, in, in the search we'll make this also flex so that it doesn't make the issue of breaking class name would be flex okay and, and let's see maybe it will work as it is and to change this also to flex center and item center so then now it's perfect also we can make this uh, to like this okay so it's perfect and and now as we have changed the back remove the background so it's it, it also converted like that for our case let's just add it a uh, white background then it would be perfect pg white and also this pg white hope so it is perfect now perfect so if we just make it full screen also if we make it for small screen then it it, it works as, as it is and one thing we would do like if we make this screen so smaller then we actually uh, make this uh, a different design for mobile screen right then it would be perfect like we will make a menu there and whenever someone click then these uh, things will be displayed then it would be more responsive but for now let's uh, keep it like that so now let's uh, break our components break our designs and make some smaller components so first of all we can make a, a small component for from this these portions one component from these portions right like uh, chat sidebar and then uh, chat area chat messenger okay so let's uh, go to the js resources js components folder let's create a component and for for that you can check other components it's a just simple uh, react component or you can just copy this like you can copy this and paste it here and then rename it like uh, chat sidebar dot jsx okay copy this name and paste it here chat sidebar and for now uh, we don't add pass any additional props so keep that as it is and like for chat sidebar what would be our chat, chat, chat sidebar so it would be this this portion is for our chat sidebar right so we don't we don't grab all of the things we just grab this part we will we'll take the layouts here so and just uh, cut it from here and paste this in this section in the chat sidebar so first uh, as uh, there is no need to div so we just make an empty all shift f format it okay we paste the chat sidebar here save it and import it import it and definitely close it and import it inside this inside the chat area inside here so let's write chat sidebar if we chat sidebar so if you white and you will get the suggestion but we can add add that from yeah yeah you will get the suggestion click on this then it will be automatically added like components slash that sidebar so it's perfect so and then close it okay so we have uh move this chat sidebar to there then definitely we can also make separate components but for now let's keep it like that and and then um, we need the chat uh, area like this this messenger section this section and this chat header there is there is a chat header and for the main area we will actually create uh, two components like uh, this is the chat chat header on uh, chat user info header so it is actually current uh, user info header right or something like that so just cut it you know, cut it from here and create a component here new file like uh, chat user info dot 
info header dot jsx actually uh, if your name is a little bit illustrated then it's, it's better because uh, now it's self um, describing so let's create a component so it would be export default function then chat user info header so that's it then definitely inside of this we'll just return a jsx and uh, for now we don't need to additional div because it's already in one div so it's it, it will work as it is so so we we'll, would we'll make the chat info header and inside this portion we'll pass that chat info header so by clicking and add it also in chat info header in this place there is chat info header perfect and next we'll uh, break down our messages right so like we have some different messages like this is uh, maybe this for um, so uh, divide this for a single message like this is a single message right so we can we can break this break break this to one to, to another ui okay so like uh, we'll make a chat messages chat messages we'll make a a component like chat messages and i'll uh, move this from here to there okay so now click on component new file it would be chat messages dot jsx we can create also by js but it's um as it's a uh, separate dedicated component so we don't make it like that export default function chat messages okay set and in the return we'll just uh return return as there is uh, so many divs like this so just cut all of these things from here and paste it here and definitely there is no single div we'll add it here in the fragment okay so let's add the chat messages here chat messages here and also definitely import it because without importing it would not work click on this and it is imported perfect and for now there's no need to chat and do no need to head for this just comment it out okay then next is uh, this text area this uh, input for the um, for the check for the message mainly this this portion so can we can manage this from separate part it would be better if we we don't manage this from here just uh, cut it from here and uh, move it to chat new file chat input dot jsx export default chat input turn and then if or shift f for my dead. okay so if there is need need specific logic then we can implement it here so our uh, code is separated and it's now really maintainable so we can easily maintain code base easily so it's now 39 line that's perfect so let's see if anything breaks so if we just reload it so nothing breaks everything perfect and if we write some message actually we should actually increase this height little bit so that and now uh, um, to manage this it's uh, super easy like or actually we can make a folder for these components like chat new folder create a folder like chat and inside the inside of that folder like let, let's move all of these components from here to um, and okay of course we'll, we'll use the components components chat chat messages components let's so some parts are not added let's just add those from here and here and and that's it so this is the part so we, ha we have separated those uh, chat components uh, increase it um, height 16 means 64 pixel then it's uh, perfect so if nothing breaks so we have perfectly uh, moved our normal design to react components that's great and in the next episode we will create uh, the apis for our messaging message will create a messenger channel we will send apis to other user we will fetch the apis we actually we will make all of the necessary apis let's wait for my next tutorial hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you face any problem please write on the description box and definitely like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye